Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss some of the OTB string functions that are available in Pega with an example. Let's get started into the topic. So we have many OTB string functions. So today I have listed down around uh, 12 functions which are very useful for our day to day Pega activities. Let's uh, go one after the other with another example. So first is not equals ignore case. So you know expression builder right for example this is a data transform you can see settings over here right if you click on that build an expression you can browse functions over here if you want to explore separately you can go and see what are the built-in function advanced function what are the remaining functions that are available in pega so if you go to string you can directly uh, see many string functions over here so i want to explain around uh, these 12 functions so first is like a not equals ignore case you can directly search here if you know the function already so just if you hover on this particular function you can see signature is boolean so it returns a boolean value so it compares actually strings normally you know capital letters and small letters so that is like a case sensitive so you have a requirement where you have to compare two values and check whether both are uh, equal or not suppose here i'm giving a b c comma small a b c now if you go and click on test it is false because these are both are equal now if i give d over here it enters true because these are not equal so if uh, you did not give this um, equals ignore case right next is equals ignore case for the functions that are available in pega first uh, character will be of small letters and remaining will be of like a camel case now if i click test so equal ignore case these are not equal that's why it is showing false now i'm giving abc so even though this is small abc and this is capital abc it is a comparing straight forward string property where uh, it is of all capital letters but you want it uh, everything into a small letters which is nothing but lower case you can use this function like india test it you can see it has been uh, converted to lower case next is to uppercase pega systems i'm giving test it you can see everything has been converted to uppercase and as it is string, if you give space again space will be reflected over here next substring copy this and it will be very useful for us so here substring if you see the signature it returns a string so it has to uh, given three parameters one is string to use means which string we are actually want the substring so what is the start index what is the end index uh, start index start index uh, end index in essence here if you see p pega is one index is one two three four this is space five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so if you want to retrieve a value from from systems only then the start index will be from where this particular s has been started okay that is nothing but start index to when means until when you want this particular uh, string to the end which is 13 so let's test this okay now i can give one comma 
5 for example see it has taken from here so you have to give 0 index starts from 0 in Pega okay now for systems if I want you can give 7 to 10 see STE so you can give 4 12 system see in this way you can play around this uh, substring and based on your uh, project need or uh, the scenario you can use this next uh, what comes before first what comes before last the, these four are very useful functions let's uh, see at a short what comes what comes after first so if you see the signature will be a string what it is asking input and character token what comes after last so this is also input or character token so let's go with an example suppose I have some example like a b c hyphen d e f hyphen u i x hyphen x y z so if you see in this particular scenario you have a string with is of different uh, like uh, different sets of data uh, and those are separated with a hyphen suppose for example here you have POIU hyphen okay in this but uh, for a scenario you want to retrieve only POIU so you want to uh, retrieve this value suppose if you go by index which is our substring that I have explained before this uh, particular uh, scenario might be like a, this in this might be a dynamic data where you can see some values also over here in that uh, scenario you can go and uh, use this particular index uh, methodology so for that Pere has given this what comes after first what comes after last uh, first check with what comes after last it's a string now okay what comes after first so here this is a token this hyphen or this semicolon is a token now we want to see after first what is coming based on your scenario test yeah sorry instead of uh, single quotations I will double quotations so this is the functionality see after first semicolon what is the expression it has given this what comes after first okay for example if you want to see uh, you want to take from def to entire string now if you have given this see abc is eliminated with this hyphen and what comes after first this particular string it will be returning that now what comes after last so based on this you should from from this because in this particular string this hyphen last occurrence is over here so that's why what is there after the last occurrence of this it is giving like this suppose if you give this one means it will give jhgf okay this is the use of this particular functions these two are the very useful functions if you have combination of different uh, characters as well now what comes before last and before first so it is also of uh, same scenario before last so here before last hyphen this is the value so it will be giving this before last see as this is the before last occurrence of this character it has given this next first so after first hyphen before this first hyphen what is the value abc so in this way you can go for your combinations and you can retrieve data in live scenarios whenever you are working on string instead if you are uh, not sure like 
the index might be changing due to dynamic representation of data then we can use this to what comes uh, before first what comes before last and what comes uh, after first and uh, this one function next index of if you see this index of string to search and string to search for now let's remove this value so you want to know the index value so i already explained what is index in this particular pair now pair the systems okay what is our uh, parameter string to search so what you want to uh, on which string you want to give the search and string to search for so here you want to search pega test it is zero why because pega has started from zero now if i give systems five because systems character has started from fifth character here 0 1 2 3 4 is space and 5th is systems suppose you want to give only 10th 8 so this particular first value from where it is there it will give the index of that particular value next replace all so this is the string library function like a if you want to replace some strings over a string you know, so if you want to replace some characters in a string then you can use this now let's give an example for this okay So you have this word. Now you want to replace all i's with some o. Okay. Now if you give test. Sorry. We have to give i comma o. See, this is the input string this is the string that you want to search and this is the string you want to get it replaced so in this way if you give and you click on test you can see that it uh, i has been replaced with o if you want more examples if you want to replace s yes, you can see here right rule o utility o suppose if you want to replace t yeah not only that if you want to replace this as well In this way, you can this, use this replace all function, which is very useful. Hope you have understood some uh, OTB string functions. Let's explore more string functions in our part two of the video. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Please share this around your friends and pega enthusiasts and support my channel.